If you haven't checked out my Blender 2.8 Basics tutorial, which is um, on the channel, I suggest you do so. Or you can download my Blender 2.8 Flyer series tutorial, which has a more in more in depth tutorials, etc. It's only 14.99. I suggest you check out either of those tutorials because if you don't, you're gonna find it harder to follow along with this tutorial because this tutorial is more dealing with the breakdown um, the, and the theory behind how I created this small introduction to my flyer series tutorial or to be precise more of the breakdown of the rigid body uh, part of the scene. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna deal with the, the breakdown of the scene of how the robot crumbles. But before we, we go about showing you how I created this uh, robot um, crumbling when it hits the ground, I think it's just to get a basic overview of rigid bodies is the way forward. So we've got the floor and the cube. So this icon here is your rigid body key so icon so if for example we want to create a, a rigid body we have to click on this key here i mean this icon here so before we get into rigid body what is rigid body well basically rigid body is a way of taking the grunt work out of uh doing um real world physics so say for example you wanted to create a bouncing ball or an explosion or um, you know, well, more of an explosion or anything like that, which you want, where it deals with real world physics. You can obviously animate it by hand, but it's better to maybe perhaps for some things, not everything, um, just you let the computer do the work for you, and then you can con concentrate on maybe your character animation or something else. So you don't have to put all your time into maybe an explosion with debris flying everywhere to animate. And every an explosion with debris flying everywhere is quite time consuming. So you could just use um, the rigid body to do the grunt work for you. So okay, so if we then clicked on the rigid body, clicked on this icon here, rigid body, it, it will come up with this um, menu here. Now you can change the mass, basically the weight of the object by making it heavier or lighter. You can um, make the, the the friction. Basically, the less friction you have is the more slippery the floor would be. The higher it is, is um, how it, you know, more like uh, the contact. So the higher it is, it, it, it won't slide around. And then you've got the bouncing this feature. I'm not gonna get into any um, every single detail here. Play around with it yourself, but I'm gonna go into some of it. Now, the ones I'm going to, obviously, I'm going to go friction, bounciness, and then this, now this is really important, the collision, the collisions shape. Now, basically, what a collision shape is, imagine a skin that's enveloping this cube, and it basically telling each object what, um, how for it to interact with another object. So, convex hull is, um, the cheapest processing way of doing it. It gives a quicker result, results. However, it's not perfect, but I found in Blender, Convex Hull is um, the go-to um, um, collision object to use. Okay, so make sure that the cube is active and then make sure that the floor, the plane is passive. So click on that, make sure it's passive. Now, if we then hit play, that's what happens. Now, we can increase the bounciness of the cube by simply um, opening up, so make sure surface response is open, increasing the bounciness icon here, and also increasing the bounciness of the floor. And now, if we hit play, 
it bounces a bit more. If we ramp it right up, and then hit play, it'll bounce a lot more. So once you've created your rigid body animation, what you want to do then is you want to bake it. So how you, do you go about baking a, a rigid body animation? You click on the, um, the, click on the, the objects that you want to bake. And then just got object, you got rigid body, and then you bake to keyframes. And then it will bake how many frames you want to do it at. So say one to uh, whatever, say one to 50 in this scenario. And now we've got our baked animation. So now we can, this is set up, ready for manipulation. So all now the steps I used on a cube are basically a simplified version of the steps I used to create this rigid body um, robot um, collapsing, uh, crumbling into pieces. However, there is one more step which we'll deal with now. Okay, so Obviously, when you see this scene, you see the character falling and then it explodes on contact on the, on the ground. Now, how I created this scene is a little bit more um, sophisticated than it may seem, and a little bit more complex. Now, what I did is I created two of these objects. So let's just uh, close that window for a minute. And this is how I did it. So we've got this animated character at the top. He's, and he's, and he's falling here. And as he falls, he hits, when he hits the ground, it's exactly the same position of this other character um, I've created. And that's your, that's the exploding part. So if I, so that, that's the exploding one. This one is the, this is the one that explodes. So this is the one with the rigid body attached to it. And this is the one, animated one. This one's been animated in, and then when he hits the contact position, exact position of the character, he then explodes. So all, literally all I did with, with this scene is I've made this object on contact disappear. So the minute he lands, so if we go back to the, the other scene, When he lands, he disappears at the exact frame, and then we've got we switched over to the other animation. Okay, so let's explore how to make our object um, disappear and reappear. However, let's not use this uh, character to do it. Let's just use a basic cube um, to show you how the process works. Okay, if you haven't got a cube in your scene. Uh, Get one in your scene, add a cube, or just restart um, in general defaults and just have a, a cube in your scene. Okay, so the first step is make sure you're in animation. And then, you see this icon here? This is like a, your filter icon. Click on it, make sure disable view pulse is on, and also make uh, disable in renders on. So your scene should now look like this. You should have three icons here and um, these icons should be available and you should be in animation mode. Okay, so what we wanna do is we're gonna make this um, cube visible from frame one to 10 and then disappear from frame 10 to 20 and then reappear from 20 to 30. So how we go about doing that is a very simple. Let's just, first of all, we don't need to work with so many frames, so let's just move that down to 30. So, first and foremost, we go to frame one, and then hover over the cube, and then press I. And again, hover over the um, camera, disabling renders camera, and press I. So they should turn this yellow orangey color. And a keyframe should be created here. 
slide your uh, bar over to frame 10 and again press I and then press I and it's created a, a keyframe from 1 to 10. Then move to frame 11 and press I, press I again, click on the icon, click on this icon, press I again, make sure that it's, it's turned to green, press I again, and that's created a keyframe. You can't see it here, I'm not sure the reason why, I don't know if it's a bug or if I'm doing something wrong, but it's not, it's disappeared for some reason. So anyway, ignore that. It might be changed by the final release of Blender, might not, who knows. So anyway, move to frame 20, click on this icon here, click on this icon here, make sure you press I, press I again, and then move to frame 30, press I, sorry, press I again, I again. And now, hopefully, when we play this animation, it would disappear from frame uh, one, it would be appearing from one to 10, and disappear from frame 10 to 20. So you see that? So let's click on the object and it shows the keyframes. So one to 10, it's appeared, then it's disappeared, and then it reappears again. Let's click on that. So it shows you that's the disappearing, the disappearance of the object. So that is in theory how I created this scene here obviously it's a bit more complex play around with it but that is how this scene was created with the character um, i've uploaded this scene to my uh, art station channel it's free to download the scene so you can just download that and play around with the scene if you would like um, also consider purchasing the the flyer tutorial it allows me to um, create more content. Um, I would also say if you can't afford to uh, buy the tutorial, then hit like, um, subscribe to my channel. It really helps. It helps the YouTube um, algorithm. So it helps promote my site. So if you want to see more content from me, hit that like button, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification. And if, you've, if you um, want a specific tutorial for me to cover hit just post a little message below and um, I'll consider uh, creating a tutorial that you've um, that you're that you want to want to see okay guys I hope this has helped I'm out